Hi, it's Terry Shimoleski, and I'm here today with Gina Kafari, and we're doing our monthly local business spotlight with benefits. Gina owns Snapology, and Gina, tell us, what, do, what, what does Snapology do? Well, one, one guess from what's behind me, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, so Snapology is um, a children's, school-age children's discovery center, um, educational uh, enrichment, all using Lego bricks. So that's why you see the big Lego wall behind me. Um, so kids learn through play. So Lego bricks, it, most you know, kids in the five to 10 or four to 12 age range love to build. And so we use Lego bricks to teach STEM, to teach uh, robotics, to teach coding, um, to teach the engineering design process, problem solving, teamwork. Um, so th there's a, a whole lot that we do in terms of like the, the curriculum that we, that we use, um, but everything uses Lego. Oh, that's, that's so much fun. I remember, I remember that from when my son was little. So tell us, tell us how does it work in a group setting and, and who do you serve? So how it works in a group setting is obviously a little bit different now. Um, yeah. so, so I'll tell you in normal times um, uh, how, how it works. And then I'll tell you some of the things that we've been doing lately um, yeah. to uh, work with kids during um, the times that we're in. Yeah. So uh, Snapology uh, employs teachers. Most of our teaching staff are certified teachers. Everyone has experience in the classroom. And during the school year, um, normally, not in 2020 very much, but um, prior to that, we send teachers into schools for the hour or two of enrichment after the school day ends. So again, play-based learning, um, kids who have had to, you know, sit and, you know, learn and focus all day. We still want activities after school that engage and enrich and support the curriculum, but certainly we also want it to be fun. So um, parents are able to sign up their children to stay for an hour or two after the school day ends. And we send teachers in with all the materials and the equipment, the Lego bricks, the kits. Um, and so they teach um, after school. Um, the weekends, we uh, normally are full uh, with birthday parties. So you can see some of the birthday party stuff behind me. Yeah. Um, so the parties are a whole lot of fun. Um, there are small group activities. You pick a theme, whether it's Pokemon or Lego City or Star Wars, whatever your child is into, we have a lesson plan that corresponds with it. And so our um, facilitators uh, work with kids in small groups to build cool creations and some with instructions, some without. So it engages both parts of the brain. Um, some kids really like to just create freely and don't necessarily want to follow step by step. And that usually works really well during birthday parties. So everyone could have fun regardless of ability, right? Because some kids are expert builders and could right. build sets for, you know, 16 years and older when they're four, um, but not every kid is like that. So the right. birthday parties are a lot of fun because it just engages regardless of your ability or how much you've been exposed to Lego. So that's, uh, that's school um, days and weekends. And then when school is not in session, uh, we host camps. Awesome. So we have- well, What are you doing now during, during um, COVID? So during COVID, um, we are, we've still been doing camps. So camps are the one thing that we've continued. We've just modified and um, kept each group very small and uh, the groups do not mingle with other groups. So we um, have parents drop off at the door. So we're just limiting the number of people in the space in general and cleaning everything all day long, every day. <laughs> yeah, just so, like every place, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so That's we take temperatures. Fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, we take kids' temperatures when they get here. Obviously, you know, we make sure that nobody comes in with any sick symptoms. Um, and it's worked really well. And, you know, kids seem incredibly resilient to the changes. Um, they build with their own uh, assigned Lego bricks and not sharing between them the way that they had been before. But kids are very resilient and, you know, they're wearing masks like champs and they're just, you know, having fun and as far as the kids are concerned, besides the group being a lot smaller, um, they've just, you know, fallen right into the, the way it is now. So fun as usual. So people can call you yeah. private get togethers 
small birthday parties. Um, just get, you know, get yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when, when COVID first started, we like everybody else, I mean, like most businesses, we almost, you know, altogether shut down um, and took everything that we were doing for that, you know, couple of months um, back in the spring and, and went virtual. So um, we were uh, doing virtual challenges just to keep kids engaged and, and we had, we had winners and prizes and just to keep the kids that, would normally be with us, um, still engaged with others, even if it was um, through social media. And um, then we started to slowly phase things back in. So we will do uh, virtual birthday parties. Um, we will do small birthday parties in person um, by request. Um, and we'll just, again, keeping you know the number of guests you know far smaller than we had before. And limiting the number of people. So parents again are dropping off at the door. So we'll do either virtual or in-person parties. Um, and we um, um, will also do private play dates. So I think that's what you were getting at. That's been a really nice option for, yeah. for parents that are trying to keep pods of kids um, just really safe. And these are the children that my kids interact with. Um, so we can do a private play date with just those kids. Again, all the materials are sanitized between people coming in. So each child gets their own set of materials that's been cleaned just for them. And they can you know, pick whatever lesson or theme that they want. So those have been really fun. Those have been- um, Great that you were able yeah. to pivot and you know, provide opportunities for children during this time because you know, we're all looking for, you know, more things to occupy our brains. So good for you. So Gina, thank you. And how do people reach you? Oh, so um, I didn't mention where we were located. So oh. we are in Beachwood, but very close to Shaker. Um, so we're on Mercantile. So across um, from Chagrin on um, by the Giant Eagle, we're right back in that, in that um, oh, a parkway great. back there. Yeah, very convenient location, very close to the highway and very easy to get to off chagrin. Um, so how do you reach me? You can call or text. Um, a lot of people like to text, so that's absolutely fine. 216-990-8988. And then our website, um, cleveland.snapology.com. Oh, wonderful. And Gina, this is called a local business spotlight with benefits. So what benefit could someone expect when they call and tell you they're a friend of the Terry Chmielewski team? Well, they're, if they're a friend of Terry Chmielewski, then they're certainly friends of mine. <laughs> um, so if they, if they call and mention um, you or, um, um, you know, Keller, um, then a private play date, we would take $10 off. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. Well, you know, I love having you with us today. Thank you so much for taking time out. I can see your place is fun and festive. I've visited, so I know for sure. So thanks again for being with us. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Terry. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.